Hey everyone, Eddie here. I know this video has been long and awaited, but I wanted to show you the control, Pro X control tower, uh, as I promised. So I'm gonna flip this around, show you what's cooking under the hood, as they say. Okay, as you can see here, I have rigged up the column here to f uh, fit in the Sennheiser receiver, as well as an Alto transmitter. And I went ahead and did some quick connects here. So these are my speaker, my left speaker power and signal, and my right spe uh, speaker power and signal. And then the main power coming in. I also have power coming out if I need to. I just basically run everything right under it, tape it down. Uh, I have a power source over here to make sure these two things are powered up, um, as well as providing power for uh, all four of these um, power cons that are going on. I am using the, uh, was it Likes? L Y X? I forgot the name of it. Um, yeah, I think it's called the, the Lux or the Likes. Uh, that is a Cat 6, I think, or Cat 5E um, uh, audio dis distribution center. So as you can see, I got the Alto plugged in here, as well as for the speakers down here for the Quick Connects. And then I just run, also installed these Quick Connects here. I almost forgot about these. So as you can see, I got these angle Quick Connects going in. They, let me see if I can remove this. They are angled in. As you can see, there goes the main power. And then there's the uh, microphones, and then there's the speakers. So this is my speaker line, it's my microphone line. I haven't properly labeled them yet, but that's what those are. And of course I got my antenna lines going right over there and right over there. So they're right in the front of the control tower and they're just screwed in onto the template here, that top plate piece. Now, uh, I could plug in more mics if I need to. I have some emergency backups here, but Mainly just the one microphone is always needed. I don't need anything more than that. And that Sennheiser never disappoints. That is the G4 version right there. So that's the EWG4 uh, or EW100 G4, I should say. Uh, let's see here. Uh, as you can see, I'm running the Prime 4. Uh, with the Prime 4, I can also run my lighting. As you can see here, I can turn them off, on change colors so it's pretty cool so that uh, prime 4 is awesome I really have to admit I really believe that the mp3s sound far better on this player than they do off a computer running virtual DJ Serato so uh, I'm really impressed with this whole prime setup I've been using this for about maybe four years now I've been using it for quite a bit for for a minute and it hasn't failed me, not once. Uh, well, I'll take that back. One time I did have a glitch or something, but uh, that's when I found out that if I have my computer plugged in and coming in through the auxiliary, the auxiliary, when you reboot this, never shuts off and neither does the mic, as long as you have it on first. As long as you have that on first, uh, the mic and auxiliary will not shut down when you do a reboot just in case you had a freeze but like I said once have I ever had a glitch with the prime 4 did it once I rebooted no problems and like I said I've been using it four years I do what 75 uh, weddings a year at least so uh, that you know after four years 75 that's Almost 300 events I have done with the Prime 4. So there you go guys. Once again, this is my setup. Um, I installed this, I dairy rigged this so I could have something for my headphones. Folds up right there. <clears throat> the Control X tower, the Control Tower by Pro X really rocks. Really looks good, matches well with the Evolve White 50s. So, really impressed guys. Uh, I really like these quick connects because all I gotta do is just disconnect these three, these five actually. I gotta disconnect the antennas, 
I fold them up in here when it's time to wrap up. I unplug these, disconnect this, and it doesn't take no time. I think it takes 13 minutes to get everything all plugged in and all set up. I did the time lapse today as well, but I did a time lapse earlier uh, a couple months ago, and I, it took me 13 minutes. Uh, once I got all my gear into the room, I uh, un opened up all the boxes, set it up, did time lapse. That video is floating around somewhere, and I was able to set all this up, not rushing. I remember, I didn't rush. It took only 13 minutes to get the wires run and everything. Uh, you'll have to take. There's an explanation for this. Usually I run my wires behind, around, and then back up. But the videographers are using this door in the storage room back here. So if I put this uh, snake in front of that door, uh, you can see how low profile they don't, they don't give much clearance between the carpet and the door. Uh, it's just gonna hit. So I had to actually run my wires this way. Kind of looks tacky, but what can I do? Can't do much about that. Once again, this is Eddie. If you have any questions about what I did, I'll make sure to link all the uh, materials where I found them at. Um, it's not that hard, like Markitech, you know, uh, Markitech, Pincom, I think, or L Pincom, something like that. Uh, uh, that's where I get that little uh, seven or nine inch rack mount plate that gives you the six six inputs is it yeah six uh uh d cutouts and then of course i just use the rack rails from pro x they're really easy to install i screw them in and then you know i fit them to the uh rack ears and then i screw them in so i got the uh pro x uh two u here so it can hold two rack units and then i got Oh, actually, I got another 2U down there as well. So I got two uh, 2Us right there. I think I wanted the space under there. So, uh, like I was saying, 2U, 2U. Uh, I had to modify this a little bit. Um, actually, this is the 2U from Pro X. This one was just something, uh, these are just normal rack ears. So I had to rack the rack ears, as you can see with the bolts, had to put a spacer in there. And then I put the rack ears in there, and I, it, it was a lot of play and give right here. So I just wanted to show you that, painted this white. So if you have any questions, sign out. Peace. Bye.